Hey everybody, and welcome to the Inferno Cast. This is episode 053, and I am Fox from Inferno Fox Gaming. And you can find us here right on YouTube, as well as on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, and more. And joining me is our fantastic cast and crew as we are sort of taking a trip down memory lane and thinking about our old school days. And let's go ahead and introduce our cast. We have Jason the 13th of the YouTube channel, Jason the 13th. Jason, so much, thank you so much for joining us. No problem. I almost thought this was going to be even a smaller crew today. I almost missed it. <laughs> yeah, we did. We, we did not want you to have to miss it. <laughs> Darn. Uh, it's, it's Simba's over there going, dang it, I wish you would have missed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of, of Simbu, Darkfang, he is the host of the SFWF which is Sunday nights on Twitch. That is the Scurry Face Wrestling Federation show. And you can catch that again Sunday nights on Twitch at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Central, right, Simbu? That is correct. And Every make Sunday, sure, 7 p.m. Make sure you check that show out. It's a lot of fun. They, they, they play WWE uh, 2K24. Uh, it's actually a, a, a blast to see, a blast to, to to play, and they're not technically playing it. They set up their their specific wrestling league to have these wrestlers represent themselves and just letting the computer go at it. And you have some really spirited and fun uh, announcing and everything like that by Simbu himself, by the Snake Man himself. So make sure you check that out. Simbu, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, always a pleasure to be here. Uh, real quick, big announcement. This Sunday, if you're watching it before Sunday, what is it? The 25th of August, right? Yep. 20, Can't remember. I think 25th. 24th, 25th. Either way, <laughs> this is the final, this is the going to be the season finale for the SFWF. So it is, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, da 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 scurry mania oh um, man so it is going to feature nine matches instead of the normal seven it is going to be our big season finale for season one we will be taking two months off because of haunt season and all of our rep scurry face reps will be performing for you live so please make sure you go out and see them live if you're in their areas but yes big 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 one all titles on the line and well one major match that has been building for a couple months now. So, any spoilers? Any spoilers? Well, I mean, I'm part of it. Oh. <laughs> it's a huge, big storyline has been building for about the last month and a half to two months. Um, so, yeah. So, make sure you uh, guys uh, listening here. You check that out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Again, Sunday nights on Twitch, Scurry Face at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, what is that? 2300 hours Swahili time. Don't 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 want to miss miss the show. <laughs> and also joining us on the Inferno Cast is Storm Rose Sky of the Twitch and YouTube channels of Storm Rose Sky. Storm, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here amongst you mortals. <laughs> yeah. And last but not mortal, least, speak for yourself. I'm not mortal. Well, well, you're not you're immortal. You're, you're, you're well, semi mortal. You're something, but I can't say it. You know, you're, you're, I don't want to ruin the mortal. algorithm nah. yet. <laughs> well, I don't want to. I don't want to take the algorithm. So I'll hold my comments <laughs> of what Simbu really is until later. Yes. <laughs> And last but not least, we have Jamie Owls87, my partner and partner in crime, part of my monthly, our monthly series of games we are playing. Uh, we also have another video uh, coming down the works of games that made us gamers that we're going to be recording soon. And that is actually inspired by the great Rad Bash Gaming, as well as many of his members of the Super Retro Force and uh, I believe the Retro Rivals also had that as well. So make sure you check that out when we post it. We'll, we'll make sure to let you, you, our wonderful audience, know when that's coming. Jamie Owls, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm 
happy to be here on this Tuesday evening. And I look forward to discussion of our topic today. And I quickly wrote some notes down so I don't forget. So I look forward to talking about it. Nice. And just a quick uh, shout out to Hillbilly Hill, Hill bleh, excuse me, Hillbilly <laughs> Harkins. See, he's already he's already flustering me and he's not even here hillbilly hard me, me, me that's all folks exactly and <laughs> hillbilly is our good friend and resident hill slut and finally astromedes developer and co-owner of second place games just want to make sure to shout out the rest of the inferno cast who couldn't make it but they should hopefully be here next week we'll just wait and see so our main topic is going back to school but one of the things that we we really enjoy before, uh, really after school, is a, a lot of the great after school TV shows and programs, and really just sitting down and and enjoying some some great cartoons or whatever was on Nickelodeon or what have you. So we're we're gonna go off the little little bit off the beaten path of video games and just we're gonna ask the crew, uh, what favorite TV show growing up did you enjoy as a kid that you just you just can't watch again now as an adult and jamie owls i'm gonna put you on the spot because you got a cute cat in your background there uh <laughs> what, what do you what what are your shows jamie owls honestly the only one i can really think of um it was like two years ago i want to say that i tried watching it and i couldn't because it was just so gross to me Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> I used to watch Ren and Stimpy a lot when I was little, and I can't. I can't, especially the uh, episode where Ren uh, lost or wasn't brushing his teeth. Oh yeah, and all his nerve endings are hanging out. I yeah, it yeah, it grossed me out. I can't watch it anymore. Well, I don't like them. I just can't watch their episodes. Oh gosh, I, my dad loved loved that show. It's so, it's like, uh, how did they get away with showing that on on Nickelodeon? <laughs> it's meant for adults, but a lot of kids watched it, and that was the thing. It was a kids kids show. God, um, I'm gonna say one of mine. Um, this is going to be sacrilegious. I'm going to take away a little bit of the steam from Jason the 13th because I want to call on Jason uh -oh. next. So this is this is my preemptive attack on what, what uh -oh. Jason's going to say. But one of mine is the 80s and 90s TMNT cartoon. Can't, can't watch it anymore. I remember loving it as a kid, especially the, this is before the red seasons, which are, I think are the 8th through 10th seasons <laughs> when they really started getting dark. But like the first couple seasons, I, I remember I threw it on YouTube a couple years ago and I'm like, this is really stupid. Why did I like this? But as a kid, it was just fun. There's a lot of action, a lot of flashy. The, the, the turtles were funny, but like, I'm like, I don't, I don't care for this. this it, it's, it's kind of funny. Um, Jason, the 13th, what, what was your, your you controversial know, one? I, real quick. I have not rewatched the old turtles, so I don't know if it's that cringy or not as much, but I can imagine it is. I still love it and I can still watch them, but you got to kind of stop it with the last five minutes left. Uh, the old G.I. Joes and Thundercats. I love them to death, but you have to cut out the last like five minutes where every episode is. Uh, Oh, that's why you do this and teaching you the moral of each oh. episode. <laughs> you have to cut out those last parts of them. And then those that that's the cringy part of the shows. I still love the cartoons and everything, but those cringy parts of it at the end tail end of the shows, that's uh, that kills me every time I try to rewatch those cartoons. <laughs> hey, hey, just real quick, I, I got to say J mm -hmm. Jason the 13th no matter how many times you use young people words in a in one thought, what, you're not going to be young. So quit it. What, cringe. <laughs> uh, cringe has been around for a long time. Oh, <laughs> oh Jason but, the Thirteenth. That's that's so skibbity. But if you want a full cartoon, and skibbity if we're sticking Ohio to Riz. cartoons, that's, that's, I, that's Sigma. 
Storm. I used to watch a lot of Beavis and Butthead, and mm-hmm. I can't watch them anymore. They are just I, now that when I try to watch it, it is losing brain cells now. Yeah, <laughs> I used to not. I used to love the cartoon part, the in between the videos. I didn't care for the video. Now that I'm older, now I like the video part. And I don't like the <laughs> more than the cartoons. Yeah. It's so weird. Like the cartoons <laughs> don't, part is okay, but the but video the car- part it feels like it's a time capsule to the nineties. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, so Storm, uh, what what sort of Sigma Riz are you gonna show us, Ohio? Ohio, now that I'm, here. I'm offended by everything that you all have said. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, Beavis and Budhead, I still enjoyed, and I enjoyed them when I was a kid. But the I enjoyed them have, when I was young. And the video part was always the best part of the the show um the reboot was okay anyway my show i'm gonna say and it's not a cartoon um it is an old 80s tv show mama's family really Uh, you can't watch that anymore nope i went recently went through and oh my god it has not aged well (laughs) at all at all (laughs) and there are a few episodes that i still like but after a bit, her constant like yelling and and being on ten all the time with her family was getting on my nerves. <laughs> so, wow. you know, I was just happy because I just rewatched that and got everything, got the whole series on DVD last year, and made it through like this past winter. And after my sit through, I was like, no, I think I'm good for a little bit to watch <laughs> it. It just. Yeah, there's some episodes I still absolutely love. Like she thinks she sees her mother's ghost, and I'm always a fan of you know if a tornado is in a TV show, it's one of my favorite episodes of whatever that TV show is. So there is a tornado that happens um, during Thanksgiving time there, which is interesting for God knows where they live. But yeah, a lot of you know. A lot of stuff has not aged well at all. And I mean, that's all right. Whatever. The 80s, we were, you know, didn't care as much. People's feelings got hurt. You just laughed and moved on and whatever. Hmm. But her yelling, yeah, her yelling just got, it got to be too much. And I know I have that on one of my videos on YouTube that it's one of my, you know, favorite shows from the 80s, but. Because back then, if you look at it for the time period, it might have been all right and was still okay. I'm air quoting, but yeah, I can't. I will I pick of... out handful of episodes now, but I a full rewatch. I will probably not do that again. Yeah, I'm surprised mm-hmm. to hear that. Like I, I remember that always being a favorite of yours. Interesting. And yeah. I thought about watching it too. It's been a long time for me. Maybe, you know, it has something to do with what work is now. And mm-hmm. because work as a natural introvert, being anything teaching, and that's all extroverted work. Mm-hmm. So I'm, maybe that's it. And like, you don't have the energy? Just, yeah. Like maybe You're she's stimulated. Exactly. She's on 11 constantly, hmm. you know, Mama Harper is. And I'm like, all right, you all come just calm down <laughs> gibbity riz with yourself over there hmm. baba harper so yeah i'm a little i'm a little surprised at it myself but it is what it is it just you know it might still be a favorite but it will get bumped down to like all right you're number 10 on the list it's gonna be number <laughs> three you know oh there's there's storm going full sigma going full sigma yep. oh i guess mama's family is ohio now man yeah, Skibbity Riz, Ohio. Oh my God. <laughs> Speaking of Skibbity Riz, no, not 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 Simbu. Not <laughs> Simbu. Simbu is not Skibbity. Uh Simbu, what is favorite TV show growing up that you enjoyed as a kid you just can't watch now as an adult? I honestly I don't think I have one. Come on. Honest to God. <laughs> I really don't think I have an actual one that, like, I can sit there and say that I could not actually watch again. Like, so, for example, let's go with Full House. I could sit and what, rewatch old episodes of Full House, but I'm going to pick apart things that annoy me. <laughs> okay? 
you know, uh, I can rewatch. I, I mean, I, I love Married with Children, but same, but here's the thing. I can't stand Peggy. I can't Ow. stand her voice. <laughs> She's the re- it's the, her voice is the reason I hated the nanny. I hated Fran Fine. Oh. I can't stand that show because of her voice. The nasally voice is probably why I don't love, I don't really care for I Love Lucy. Even though it's a fantastic show, I can't stand her voice. Um, hmm. You know, even like Home Improvement, there's stuff about Home Improvement I love and I can't, you know, there's stuff that I can't stand mm. about it. But, you know, I can there's, still watch that one without a problem. <laughs> Again, <laughs> though, but that's... <laughs> but I can sit there and watch all these shows. I can still watch them. I can still enjoy them. But I would have to say, I guess maybe Beavis and Butthead. Hmm. Just for just for the fact that like I can watch it, but only I can only watch so much of that stuff of that before it's like okay, it's a a a, a hot dog and a a black hole joke. Okay, woo, you know. If I want to, if I want those kind of jokes, I'll go watch the boys. Okay, where it's <laughs> where it's all nothing but that, and actually entertaining, but. Honestly, there's no real show. I mean, maybe Barney because it's too sing alongy for me. But I mean, I'll still sit there and watch Dinosaurs. <laughs> maybe the Dinosaurs television? was so good. <laughs> oh, oh t- Dinosaurs. What a depressing ending, though. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> such a good show. Well, and it's funny because I say Barney, but at the same time, I could still sit down and watch Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Lamb Chaps play along for me. Nope. Lamb chops, yeah. Lamb chops playhouse. Oh. I, 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 I'm, I'm okay. too, I'm too, too old to sit there and watch all of that. But there's a big divining line, of course, is that I don't have any kids, so mm-hmm. I don't have any, any reason to ha- to have to watch shows like that. Uh, even mm-hmm. stuff like Bluey or Arthur or uh, what was the one that that just ended on uh, PBS that was going for 20 years uh and apparently annoyed parents so much i can't think of think of the name you yeah you that's it <laughs> like uh, i i, I, I had new no generation of doug because that's what he looked like and you know, like i didn't have any re- any real reason to watch any of the shows like that but it's like it'd be different if i had kids but then like if, i think if i had kids uh it would pro- they'd be, probably be watching like looney tunes and stuff like that my whole thing that no, I don't need to have kids to watch kid cartoons, but I'll watch the ones that I grew up. Like I'm not gonna sit there and watch Bluey because of it. There's no reason. Yeah, exactly. I've seen enough Bluey for you all. Yeah. <laughs> the last year, Bluey is a godsend. It really is a really good show, and I get why the kids love it. Mm-hmm. It is good, um, but. Yeah, I've seen enough of Bluey and and know the songs and whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, it's decent though, so I'm not as annoyed by it or like having to watch it or play it for them. It's fine, but <clears throat> thank you, Australia. I'm surprised no one said South Park. Oh, uh, see, I could still watch South Park without a problem. <laughs> Give me seasons one through twenty-five, and I will marathon. It. <laughs> I used to watch those religiously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, my list of a lot of this would be of probably really long. South Park would be on on that list for me personally. Mm-hmm. Um, but but I don't like now that I, I think since my early mid thirties, I don't like adult animation. Like if it mm-hmm. it just doesn't interest me, and that's up to and including Rick and Morty. It's just Rick and Morty is to, to me is the same joke or jokes or whatnot over and over again played over uh an archetype that just doesn't doesn't interest me now i, I do Rick and morty either i i do need to see bojack horseman because i've heard that that actually is an absolutely fantastic adult animated show and it not i wouldn't say relatively new i think it came out like 10 years ago something, it, it, something. it's 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 a little on the older side but it i enjoy i thoroughly enjoyed it would I sit down and marathon it, you know, like be like, like anchor to marathon it? Probably not, but it, it's good. It, 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 it was, it's enjoyable. Yeah. 
So I think my my list in general would be like of all these shows would be pretty high. So imagine, imagine you're, you're, we're kids. And we, we saw, <laughs> we saw our cartoons and everything like that. Okay. It's bedtime. And now it's time for school. We're back in school. Cause of course, as we're recording this, as we mentioned a little earlier, it's nearing the end of August. And because a lot of us are located in the Chicagoland area or grew up there, that that, that is when we really went back to school. And of course, since, all of us here are no longer students, except, you know, Storm here is a teacher, so she gets to experience all the loveliness of the season. But with that in mind, we're going to be talking about the best games that are based in school-like environments. So not only that, but also games that maybe we think of during this time of the year, or maybe we associate with being in school ourselves. Uh, there's There's a lot of different games that that I, I think of with the whole school thing I, i'm a huge jrpg nerd so fortunately slash unfortunately there's a lot there's a whole trope of the uh high school student that saves the world especially if you're like a persona fan uh or even a shimigami Ten tensei fan but jason the 13th i'm gonna pick on you first and ask what are some of your favorite video games that take place in school environments that you enjoy so this is def definitely a hard one because <laughs> i don't play a ton of games that are based around school but i do have a couple that i would point out and of course you know i can't uh not go along the lines of bringing up pokemon is my number one 90% of them have nothing to do with school, but uh, the last one, Scarlet and Violet, is all about being in school and doing the whole uh, catch them all for part of your school project. So you got to bring up that one at least because, you know, me and Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> but when I, we were discussing this topic beforehand, uh, I do have to steal this one because I still own it, and I am a fan of fighting games. I have to bring up that Rival Schools. Oh, yeah, Rival Schools. It was such a good game, and I see Simba was like, I was going <laughs> to use that myself, right? <laughs> yep, uh -huh. uh, th hey, I, I well, don't I have, have nothing many. to contribute now. You Thanks, have nothing Jason. to contribute? Thanks. Really? Nothing? I'm sure there's one that you and Storm have in common, too. Oh. <laughs> I feel like so, I'm, I'm kind of stupid here. I can't think of what that would be. Well, Fox uh, I, has I, it in common too. Yeah, yeah, po very possibly, very possibly. But I'm not going to be with your guys' because I haven't played it. But I have played the Lego version of oh, Harry Potter, oh. <laughs> the Harry Potter Lego game. I have played, and I don't. I know I didn't beat it, but it was fun. It was very fun. Yeah, the, I'm, the, the I'm just pulling thing, like everything Simbu wants to talk about. Apparently, <laughs> you're just going right down all pretty much my list. It, it's cool. You keep going. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> no, you ruined the show. I've ruined, you ruined the show. The show. <laughs> all right, show's over. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> all right, so that's a wrap. So any <laughs> no, 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 listener, we're still here. <laughs> But those would be my three picks for school games that I've actually played. Other than that, I can't really think of too many other games that are revolve around schools that I've played. Interesting. No, that's that's <laughs> that's cool. Um, I just thought of one. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. So Sim Simbu, let's let's roll with you on your. <laughs> picks for your some of your favorite video games that take no, place no, no, no. I, I want to hear everybody else first so uh -oh. i can see what's left over are you sure i don't want to take anybody else's stuff how would i call you second to last i'll, I'll do the i'll do the, I'll, I'll i'll roll anchor because i've got a few I, i'm certain i've got a few that none of you guys are going to pick in fact i'm oh. i'm i i've got two at least none of you guys are going to pick I, I would bet money on it I bet I'm money. Sure I know at least one of them. Yeah, yeah. We'll, I'll go second to last. Let Storm and uh, Jamie Owls go first. Okay. Um, <laughs> Jamie Owls with the stretchy, stretchy little kitten there. Uh, what are some of your favorite <laughs> video games that you associate uh, with the school school time? So it was so funny. I didn't think of this right away, and I kind of feel stupid because I had to Google it. Um, what came up was, would be my number one, because I love the series, is Life is Strange. 
Ooh. Max Caulfield at the school where she discovers her powers. <laughs> that game, the Academy, I think. Yeah, the Academy. And there was another one that I used to play a lot in my preteen. Some of you might laugh at this, but growing up, I was a big fan of the Mary Kate and Ashley twins and they had a couple of video games so they had one called crush course that i used to play and the game involves with the girls in high school but when you go into the classrooms it's like different levels that you play to get grades to get good grades um i also tried playing the pokemon violet as well which i agree with uh jason the 13th that does take place at a school mm -hmm. um i haven't finished it though i do need to get back into it it's been a while and i think it'll be fun to get back into it and another one that it may be on your list inferno but it's the final fantasy 8 where they take place in babylon garden which i oh. feel is a school but they're in school for that yeah, the, the, the Balam Garden where they're uh, training to be CDs. Yeah. I kind of forgot that that was more of a school background to that game. <clears throat> Wasn't on my list. Really? <laughs> nope. I thought it wouldn't be. I, I was going to say, well, what about Final Fantasy VIII? If you didn't say it. So <laughs> instead I'll say, what about Tiny Toons Buster Bust Loose? I was going to say that, too, because that takes place. Well, the first level takes place at a school. And then we talked about it earlier, but we used to own it. But the beefs and butthead. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, Storm, how about you? I had to unmute myself. <laughs> remember, remember the slide. Did you remember the slide? I did. <laughs> Hashtag Fortnite. <laughs> that's that's not been an issue in forever but don't get me started don't <laughs> anyway um school games yeah that's what we're talking about hogwarts legacy is the big one you know obviously you are a student at hogwarts and get to travel around and fly on blue blooms fly on brooms <laughs> And other little animal things and do quests with wizards and use wands and magic and it's all kinds of all sorts of fun. I really did enjoy it. Um, I might go back to that a little bit. I did play the Harry Potter Lego mm -hmm. and I've had experience with Bully on the Xbox Ooh. 360. Nice. Um, both your brother and I have played it. And I watched him play a little bit, like he made it a little bit further than I did. I watched him play and I started it. Um, but yeah, the most recent one is the Hogwarts Legacy. And my God, is that school big? Right. And I'm so glad for the flume powder, the flume areas, because for a little bit, just walking felt like it took forever. And I would walk it just because I wanted to see the building. And I'm still amazed and a nerd like that so get amazed at video game graphics when you've grown up with atari and stuff and still mind-blowing as to the worlds that they can create now you know so um one yeah well, a game i used to look forward to are we on to that yet am i going ahead uh the, the, the wait, games we played when we got home from school Oh yeah! Hey, I, hold your. I will hold that. that. I will hold. We're gonna, that. We are gonna touch upon that. Jump in the head. <laughs> see, it was. It's all Simbu's fault hey, hey, <laughs> because he had to ask for special placement because blah 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 blah. <laughs> and I got all confused. <laughs> so it's all his fault. But it, 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 seriously though, the the Hogwarts Legacy that was. A, a really impressive effort by WB Games and Port Key, Port Key Games and everything like that. It really does make me hope that there will be a true sequel. Knowing WB Games, there won't be because they'll because they're 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 them. Thank you, David Laslov. <laughs> um, what's cool? I've I heard a, another re re up of a Bully remaster rumor sort of flaring up again. So because I know that it got ported to the PS4, I think a PS2 version of it did or the PS3 version of it or something. But uh, once again, because these rumors kind of tend to circulate a bit, Bully has has bullied its way back into the, the <laughs> rumor mill of a potential remaster. So it would be really cool 
would be a good stopgap between GTA six and and now when I, when is if slash that that gets uh, an, a release date announced. Um, that would so, be cool. Before, sorry, before you go, Animal Crossing also has a little school in it. You have to design a school if you have the um, Animal Crossing New Horizons Paradise Islands Paradise Getaway. You know whatever that DLC is called. <laughs> um, you design certain vacation homes, and once you get to a certain point, you design up to 10 of them then they have you design a school so you have to make you know classroom and whatever and you can design it any way you want and that's the one of the more recent school games that i've played as well nice no that's a that's a, a good appendix to your your school section <laughs> um simbu how about you so we you you requested to be last or in this instance i'm putting you second to last what are your games that your favorite video games that take place in school environments that you enjoy? So for the record, the reason I want, I, I asked for the special placement after Jason, the 13th, basically hmm. knocked out three of the ones <laughs> I wanted <laughs> was because Jamie Owls would have lost two and storm would have lost two. If I would have gone before them, because I would have tipped this four of their game four of the game, their games combined, I would have talked about. I didn't want to take away from people. So, but I guess bringing up the rear here, well, <laughs> the, not quite the caboose yet, but second to last car. So the trash car. <laughs> um, <laughs> the sleeper car. The sleeper car. You... <laughs> well, let's go with, uh, it's technically not a school game, but in the game, your main area is a guild hall. And what do what are guild halls about? They're about training. They're about learning. They're about growing as a as a faction. So, let's go with fairy tale. Hmm. Let's go with the video game fairy tale. Bit of a stretch. No, but... I I agree. I think that's because you're they're training. It's it's almost like Final Fantasy VIII because that's that's kind of a school, but they're training to be CDs. It's a type of a mercenary to fight witches. So I agree. I think that's a great pick, Simbu. <laughs> Let's also go with uh, both South Park games, Stick of Truth and Fractured, as both of those games feature levels that are played inside South Park Elementary. Mm -hmm. Not to mention there's a solid amount of time spent in the searching or going back to South Park Elementary in both those games for just to talk to somebody, to start a mission, or to go explore, things like that. But... My anchor, and no, it's not. It's not Animaniacs, even though there's. <laughs> so you could consider that basically just an entire quote unquote school game because they're just three little school kids that are just, you know, as we as I say as a parent, these badass kids. <laughs> um, no, let's go with the anchor, and that would be Juliet Starling from Lollipop Chainsaw. <laughs> nice. Because she is a, a high school yeah. cheerleader, right? Yes, she is a high school cheerleader. There is a solid amount of that game that does take place in school settings. Um, so you know, you have you start out and you're you miss the bus and you get to the school, the entrance of the school, then you gotta fight your way through the grounds of the school, then you fight your way through the school, you know, you can fight your way through the gym and all that other stuff. So no big portion of that game takes place in the school nice that's a good pick and for those uh, of you you joining us uh we had made a pact that simbu was going to get a game of his choice for the 50th anniversary episode he uh -huh. chose the lollipop chainsaw repopped and i pre-ordered him a physical copy of that as 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 did i for myself so i'm going to be getting two copies and because <laughs> i, I Simbu has piqued my interest enough, so we will be <laughs> receiving it from Limited Run Games in about 2027. So, <laughs> 2027, <laughs> maybe 2028. I, I'm going to give him a little bit of credit and and stick with my 2027. Maybe two years ago it would have been 2028. They 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 have improved a bit. So Limited Run <laughs> Games, thank thank you, thank you so much. Um, 
my choices, I'm going to pick two, and I knew you guys wouldn't pick these because, again, he's, I'm a JRPG nut. Um, I will say Fire Emblem Three Houses because much like what Simbu had mentioned about Fairy Tale and the Guild, Fire Emblem Three Houses is is sort of the same way with the the school that they're at, the main character, uh, female Byleth, or that's who I usually uh, pick or play as. She is the the teacher as well as the sort of mentor to the students in the first half of the game. Um, the second half of the game it, it takes when you go go into it has a crazy number of twists and the whole dynamic of it changes. But it's really cool because it's a whole school environment. Still one of my favorite Fire Emblem games. You can't go wrong with Hot Byleth. My second choice is the Kaseki series, specifically Trails of Cold Steel's one and two, because it features the main character Reen and care and his friends at the Thor's Academy in Erebonia. And Trails of Cold Steel 3 is the same thing, except Reen is now an instructor. And yeah, I, I played through one and two. I'm about six hours into three. Um, I have tabled three until I finished all the games before it. Ah. It's just coming up. It's coming up quick. So, Simbu. I have, I have one appendix to put on Not here. Not, not allowed. Well, we've already performed the surgery. We have removed your appendix. So, okay, well, I'll put, a, I'll put the spleen in. I'll, I'll do the spleen. <laughs> okay. So, 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 what is your spleen? <laughs> so, I'm gonna go with, and Jamie Owls will. I'm surprised she didn't take it. The quarry. Is that a bit of a stretch because it's technically at a. At a a high uh, school summer camp. summer camp as a as a school summer camp but it's summer. i think i think that's a bit of a stretch because that's summer and that's uh schools out in summer like they're <laughs> going to be going to school but i kind of took it as a <laughs> summer camp yeah i I'm, I'm not awarding you any points but i will award <laughs> you two effort points on that all right well then until dawn is out too but i mean they're all high school students mm-hmm and that one doesn't, that one, so the question was, what are some of your favorite video games that take place in school environments and Until Dawn does not take place in a school environment? So again, oh. no points awarded, but you do, you do get two more effort points. You do get two, <laughs> and, and the next question, the next question will, will I, I, I'm going to gear towards all of you, but you're going to answer this one first. Uh, any interest for you horror fans to play horror games set in school environments like the visual novel series of Dangan Rampa or the Doki Doki Literature Club? Simbu first. It depends. Um, it, it depends on what the what the game is going to be. Now is, you know, are they going to, as a school environment, are they going to go off of like, let's say, if, you, if for those of you who've seen Cabin in the Woods, where the little Japanese schoolgirls defeat the, the ghost demon thing by trapping it in the happy little frog. Okay, is it going to be something similar to that? Or is it going to be like, or is it going to be something like, oh yeah, it's a horror game, but yeah, they're in school. You it know, is, are, uh, so like the Danganronpa series, is, the premise is they are normal high school students, but they get locked in their high school and they have to kill each other and the, whomever is left ends up being the only survivor or or you actually catch the real killer if i'm rem if i'm remembering dangan rampa right if i'm remembering that right okay see now if, if it's something like that and it's not just like you know uh, uh some cheesy thing like i've played some creative horror stuff on fortnite that has been in school settings and some of them are really cool like the one you have to go through the school and you have to like solve the mystery of like the the demon ghost thing you know to like banish it and like you know get out but then there's some where it's like oh yeah you just got to search all these rooms and there's random invisible buttons on the on random walls to push that you know progress your thing that's not like there's no story or anything behind it but if there's like an actual story or like an actual goal, 
not, you know, just me standing there looking around for 20 minutes in every single room while this ghost randomly walks through, then yeah, I'd be definitely interested in stuff like that. Yeah, it's it it's one of those like cult favorite series. I, I just picked up uh one through three on the switch. Um uh, I'm curious and a little horrified to try and jump into it, but it, <laughs> it's it's apparently really lauded. Um, Jamie Owls, how about you? Uh, any interest in checking out Danganronpa, uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, or anything like that? You know, I did try the Doki Doki Literature Club. I even own it. Um, I didn't finish it. Um, maybe I will get involved. It is it is one of those games where it's just more story-based, and I don't know if I really cared for it, to be honest. I do know how it ends, though. I kind of jumped ahead and decided to see how the game really went without me actually trying to play to figure it out. Uh, there was another game I tried playing, and I actually returned it because I just couldn't really get myself into it. It's called White Day that takes place in school, and it's about a young student that's in... So it takes place in South Korea... And it's a school where this young student, and I can't really remember the premises of the game, but all I remember is that he's in a haunted school and he's trying to find a student that's lost and he's trying to figure it out. But you have to be careful and try to hide because there's a janitor janitor that's in the school that tries to kill you. And so when he catches you, he chases you. And it's also haunted. So when you're roaming through the halls, like you hear whispering and there's this ghost that goes after you too. Um, I would like to see more horror games that involve in a high school or college setting, which seem because I always I like games that um are involved in haunted houses. So I thought it'd be really cool to play a game that involves in a school. I thought that would be pretty neat and interesting. Yeah, I would think that that that, that type of game would have been done before. Um, Storm, how about you? Any interest in the games you mentioned or a horror type game based in a school? You know, I've heard nothing about the one that you mentioned, so that is a new to me thing. I might have to like watch some videos on it and mm-hmm. check it out. Um, my want to play video game list is forever long, and <laughs> you know, eventually I'll get to play some of them. But I, you know, it depends on what it would be. I could see, you know, if it they wanted to do something like Nightmare on Elm Street or Scream, mm. like they did with um, Friday the Thirteenth. Because Scream, you could put a little bit in school, Nightmare on Elm Street, a little bit in the schools. They did some slasher thing where you have to hide and whatever. That might be all right, but I can't. I don't know. Any, yeah, any less time out of the classroom would be okay after being (laughs) in the building for eight hours a day. So, you know, I don't know. I don't don't know. No, go ahead. No. One of the levels in Dead by Daylight is a school. Um, uh, real quick, I, I was going to say something uh, to Jamie Owls about it, it's interesting that they call the game White Day because White Day is a, a, a known as a, a, a holiday of love where you know, yeah, you know the uh, women choose to give give the the men like little yeah. white presents. So it's interesting they call it White Day, but it has nothing to do with that. I was thinking. Because I've seen the game on on the sto- the storefront, and I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's kind of like a My Bloody Valentine kind of thing, you know? Like yeah. it's the guy. But, but coming from that side, if I'm correct, they use color white for their funerals and death and everything. If <laughs> if I'm correct, if from what I've heard, well, like, yes, they're the the so that the could whole be where the genre, play. Yes, but that could be where the white, white comes into play you know, woman or man and, you know, person in white is big over in their, their, you know, and that's probably what horror plays culture off of. <laughs> over there. But again, knowing that there's the holiday white day where it's all about love and affection and, you know, showing appreciation to the men in your, the man in your life. And they use it as like, you know, it's just, 
it, it felt like I said to me it's not like like a, a my bloody valentine like you know weird stalker guy or something like that yeah interesting see i and, and i thought it was interesting too storm mentioning about like a, a friday the 13th and a school thing I'm still waiting for a video game adaptation of 1998's The Faculty. So, you know. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That'd be a fun one. I don't know how long I'll have to wait for that. Uh, but <laughs> Forever. Jason the 13th. <laughs> that, that needs a remake first. <laughs> uh, but no, it very much doesn't. It, it, in this day of remakes, it, I'm surprised it hasn't happened, and it probably will. I, we're gonna, You're going to see me sending you guys on our private group chat a thing that we'll see an announcement the faculty uh reconvened is going to be the title for it <laughs> and it's going to be announced tomorrow uh, and i will i will It'll share the hilarious. trailer with you guys we have just willed it to, ha to happen but <laughs> jason the 13th horror movie video, or ho horror video games in school environments yay or nay i would have no problems playing them as long as they're the right feel for me so I know quite a bit of anime and the Doki Doki, I, I had no clue what the heck that was. And looking up quick images, I would never have guessed that that was a horror game. So I would that, never the... have even gone out of my way to even look at picking up that game. Yeah, that, the... that, that's that's the trick about it because you don't <laughs> think it, it's meant to throw you for a curve about that. <clears throat> right. So without knowing it, I would never have thought of even looking at that game. Knowing that it's a horror game, eh, I'd be more often to try it. <laughs> now the dang, the dang the Rampa. Yes. Oh my gosh! Thank you for saying that for me there. <laughs> that one I do recognize it through from all the anime stuff that I watch and everything, and that one intrigues me more because I actually know it's horror, and I would have no problems trying that one out. Yeah, I, I I want to get into that. I want to at least try the first one to see if it it catches my attention. If I get into a horror game, then you know it's it's probably good. Mm -hmm. Um, so kind of going with the school motif, I'll ask you guys. And Storm was almost going to steal thunder, so I, on this, so I'm going to ask Storm this: Are there any specific video games that you associate with this time of the year and being back to school? Yes, um, coming home could not wait to leave school so i could play more uh sonic 2. Um, Do, yes i could not you know could not wait to get home and and try to get some rings and you know, play around with tails and whatnot but also mrs pac-man so those were a couple of games i could not wait to get home and play and then one that it, we had to keep renting because i liked it was paperboy mm. <laughs> it was just so much fun just to try to throw the papers in the boxes or whatever and then <laughs> purposely miss so you get the little bad animation to happen. Yep. So those were those are games I associate with now. Just you know, that rush to get home to, from school and hear the Sega mm -hmm. pop up and you know, and the beginning music of Sonic. It was it was relaxing, even though that game is very not much relaxing not very <laughs> relaxing to a degree because the jumps and whatever i still can't do platform jumps all that great oh anyway. uh -huh. <laughs> and that game is good yeah i so those are the games i think of summer and that first early bit of coming home from school and relaxing and turning off your mind with a little video game which is great nice uh jason the 13th how about you can't say that I ever connected any game with like, oh, going home from school just to play that one game. I mean, I've got plenty of games that I was like all hardcore into, like uh, Storm said, the first Disgaea game. I rented that thing like four or five times before I was able to find my own copy of it. <laughs> and that one was one where come home and it was like instantly play. I was glued to that game. So in high school, that was like one of those games, but otherwise, it's just play the games when we got to play the game. I had two brothers that shared our old systems with, so you kind of had to take turns, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, nothing that sticks out that screams like, Ooh, gotta come home just to play that one game. Mm -hmm. 
I think I think for me, it's not only just the coming home to play, but also talking to games with friends. Like I remember talking to my one buddy, uh, Mike, in high school, ninth grade about uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh, talking to Jabroni, who's been on here specifically with the Final Fantasy VII cast about Final Fantasy VII and VIII in our 10th grade English class. I remember we would we would talk about both games. Funny enough, you fast forward um, about 10 years and we were talking about Final Fantasy XII and uh, playing that during lunch at work. Uh, another one was playing uh, Majora's Mask. I remember that was a big thing my senior year of high school. And oh my goodness, there was a, my senior year, we had to do a major 15 page paper on whatever topic, but the point was you had to do the paper. And so I decided to do mine on the Coca-Cola company. And of course, <laughs> my best friend Mobster, uh, he decides to do his on PepsiCo because, you know, Coke, mm. Pepsi. And I remember being a pain in the butt trying to have to be motivated to work on it. So I would do a thing where on a sat Saturday and Sunday, I would do a half an hour of Majora's Mask, a half an hour working on the paper, half an hour of Majora's Mask, half an hour on the paper. And doing that i remember that i knocked out the entirety of the paper in one weekend and the paper wasn't due for like a month it was just a <laughs> thing where like i was so into the game that i wasn't even paying attention to the fact i was actually doing work for school and it's it's, it's uh, kind of a funny thing <laughs> um Simbo, how about you? Any um, sort of uh, specific video games you associate with this time of the year with school or being back to school? Oh, always E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Oh, yeah. I, I can see <laughs> That's that. It. No other games. No, obviously not. Um, Fox, you bring up Ocarina of Time. Um, that was one of mine. Uh you know, playing, coming home for Streets of Rage or Golden Axe, uh, oh, you so know, good. Contra, uh, game that I don't know how, if any of you have ever played it, but Mighty Max, hmm. the Genesis. Yep. Um, Can't say I've played that one. I remember I the was, toys. <laughs> exactly. And they, they, I, again, they put out a video, they put out a game on Genesis for Mighty Max and I, I ended up having it. Nice. Um, you know, Animaniacs, and then of course, as I I get older, you know, Twilight Princess was always fun yeah. to come home to play. Uh, Fable, Halo, you know. So it just as time went on, um, you know, it was like, it was always my escape from everything. You know, growing up, I hated school. Kids suck. Your peers suck. Plain and simple. I'll <laughs> leave it at that. So coming home to the video games was, that was my escape. And hell, it still is. <laughs> now it's coming home from work. Yep. Pretty much. Yes. <laughs> and, and and a lot of times people you work with still have that school mentality. And how sad is that sometimes? Yep. It's all 90% is high school and people never leave it. Yep. Nope. God, you, that is the nail on the freaking head. So let us know in the comments section below your um, worst high school about, work story. Jamie no. Owls. <laughs> no, I know. I know. I'm <laughs> uh -huh. Sure. Uh, <laughs> so Jamie Owls, if you can ask the cute kitten behind you, what her <laughs> favorite, no, um, any specific video games that you associate with this time of the year and or being back to school? Um. I can't say. Like honestly, there are games I don't really associate it with, but um during my elementary school years, coming home, like I can't remember a particular game that I would look forward to playing, but I just remember I would just play a game or two when I got home, especially on the weekends. Um I used to as you all know, I'm a big Spyro and Tomb Raider fan. So on my PS1 I had the first three original spiral games and then tomb raider so i just play around on that and i think at that time we still had like our um nintendo system so you still play mario and all that but yeah the, i wouldn't say there was like a particular game that i associate with or there was a game that i looked forward to playing right away after school 
That makes sense. Because a lot of times, it, maybe it was like the the game of the day or or whatever caught right. your attention, and uh, whatever we, I was in the mood. The, yep, the current game that you were playing. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Uh, one of the things that Simbo sort of touched upon is how uh, we often played the games as, as a sort of escape from the stress of school and everything like that. And that that probably applies to what we were playing at, at the time and kind of the stories that that we mentioned. So we really won't touch, won't touch upon that. Instead, I'm going to throw uh, my fantastic Inferno cast here a curve and ask them if you were a teacher of a video game you and you wanted to teach somebody a game that you knew so well and you wanted to teach them that game, what would you teach them? What game would, would, would that happen to be? And you guys know that I've done that with uh, Smash Brothers because Astromedes, if he'd be here, he would say I, I've schooled him quite a bit uh, on that. Jason the 13th, you're my lucky victim here. Is there any game that if you had to teach somebody and you had that high level of knowledge base, you are now the teacher. You've gone from the student to now the teacher. What video game? I want to sim- be the very best. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> the simple answer is Pokemon because it's simple enough to teach. Which which entry? Ooh, which I'm limiting entry? you to a, a single entry. Ooh. That's a good one. Yep. If you're limited to this to single one, that's a good question. <laughs> you just made that up ten times harder. <laughs> so, so let me do. Do I need to come back? Let me come back to you. Ooh, yeah, because let, I'll have to think of that one because. Yeah. So, yeah. S- <laughs> Simbu, how about you? What is you are now the professor? You are now the the teacher. What game are you teaching? It's Fortnite, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I probably could just go ahead and go with that. Um, <laughs> just because I I have, uh, you know, a lot of the uh, SF crew and everything. Um, a lot of the new Scurry Face, you know, a lot of Scurry Face crew. Vice does her uh, Fortnite with the reps on Tuesday <laughs> nights. So right after the cast here, I'll be getting ready to jump on that with her. Um but I've had to help teach a lot of them how to play the game. Um, you know, they're, they're not big gamers or anything like that. So, I mean, I could, you know, just easily just go with Fortnite, which would make it easy. And you, you could also say Halo back in the day when we had to show our buddy Bill, like we would often have to show, show him when I say we, mostly you, teaching them what, what to do, how to, how to play. True. That's a good one. Fork knife for Simbu, Jason the Thirteenth. I'm not letting you skate. Did you come up with a single? Pokemon oh no, I game? wasn't expecting to let me skate. Nope. Oh God, I don't know because each each generation of Pokemon has its own little mechanics that they've thrown down on it. Well, which one would be the very best? As Simbu had elucidated with his singing prowess. <laughs> Probably uh, black and white. Black and white's probably still. I know. I, I speaking for myself and a lot of people that I've heard, black and white is still one of the best. I would say storylines, and I I think that would be have to take the top one there. Okay. I know it doesn't have like your open world like the legends or anything like that, but it's got a lot of fun fun stuff in black and white. <laughs> You'd be able to to teach clinic and and school some kids if you had to. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Storm, how about you? Unmuting myself. Um, <laughs> slide. Let's see. Don't forget to slide. It is a toss up between Fortnite because I have plenty of hours in Fortnite. I can teach it. Um, Animal Crossing: New Horizons, though probably more i mean that one's real basic and it depends on what age and to who we are teaching this to but animal crossing for elementary level would be all right you know fortnite's all right too dependently but yeah either one of the animal crossing new horizons i'll just settle on that 
Yeah. So, <laughs> Jamie Owls, <laughs> uh, what would you say is the game that you could school somebody on? Probably The Sims. I could teach people how to first create their sim character. I could also teach them how to make houses, um, walk them through certain um, parts of the game and tell them like how to navigate, how to find a job. So I think that would be an easy game to teach um, young students, maybe teenagers. Um, maybe not so much little kids because there is an option where they, it's called like, woohoo. So if you guys are not familiar with Woohoo, it's when the Sims, you know, Woohoo! fun adult <laughs> things. I don't know if I can really see it on the podcast. So intimate, intimacy, intimacy. Yeah. Yep. But teenagers, I guess you can. I mean, they're old enough, but yeah, that would be the Sims. Nice. That's fun. Yeah, so we've got a lot of, we've sort of gotten back to school here with our various schoolyard antics, as you have heard. And let us know in the comments section if you are watching slash listening through YouTube, your favorite schoolyard games. And I want to, again, give a special shout out, <laughs> excuse me, to our fantastic Inferno cast here and Cat, as you can see on YouTube under uh, Jamie Owls <laughs> Square. Um, really appreciate you guys showing. And of course, we appreciate you, our wonderful audience. And we just hope that you guys, any parting shots though? Any parting shots before we go? Mm, oh, maybe maybe we can steal more of Simbu's ideas for next episode. <laughs> <laughs> Cars are gone from Fortnite. Let's <laughs> freaking celebrate <laughs> that that season is over. Uh, the takeaway uh, Fortnite has o an overpowered item or two in every season. <laughs> yeah, but I could deal with Captain Shield versus a car ramming me off a cliff just because. Yeah, you know. yeah, there's, yeah I can uh, see that. I'll be one of those just to celebrate <laughs> it. I mean, at least we have cars for transport. And, you know, yeah. when, when you are, I will say this if you do kill a boss that has the medallion to be able to, you know, hide yourself when you crouch, you should use it. And if you're not going to use it, let the other player have it. That's hmm. all I'm going to say. And I'm if, done. If they understand how that, that whole concept works, because I get a feeling that a lot of the non-bot kid players probably don't get that sort of nuance. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Probably not. not. Neither, neither do adults. So that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> no, no, we can say kids. It's okay. And I yeah. didn't. I didn't know that's any true. of the medallions made you hide. And and don't forget yes. the slide. Did did you did you forget the slide storm? <laughs> Let's talk yeah, about the slide. Coming off the cliff. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I did forget, but not that I did forget. I like accidentally fell off the building, but I sacrificed myself for the team so our other teammate could go help Simbu out and. We actually got the win because, you know, I didn't make them stop to res me. It was, a, uh, you know what, you either res me and we're both low health or you he take off and go help Simbu and, you know, actually back him up and we won. So there you go. That's this like, is what happens when you remember to slide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All righty, guys. Thank you so much again for joining our, our fantastic Inferno cast crew as we reminisce everything school related make sure that you like subscribe comment below and register for more podcasts we will see you guys next tuesday for our next podcast